Okay, so for this problem, it says that investor purchased two bonds. The bonds have the same annual effective yield rate of Y. Okay, in respect to the annual effective yield rate, the modified durations are A years and B. Okay, so they show us mod Ds, okay? See, all of them have same annual effective rates, and one of these two bonds has a Macaulay duration of C years. Okay, so now how would we get from Mac D to mod D? Right, you would have to multiply it by V to get mod D, right? So now, one of these two bonds has a Macaulay duration of C years, right? So Macaulay duration of C years times V will get to a mod D. So it says determine which of the following is expression years for the Macaulay duration of the other bond. Okay, so basically, since one of these two bonds has a Macaulay duration of C years, we know that since C is greater than, um, C is, is greater than um, A in this case, that means that A must not be the, um, uh, that means that um, A must be the modified duration of uh, the Macaulay duration of C. Why? Because if C were to be if, um, if C were to be greater than A, but if we would have to discount it by a factor of V, it would lessen the amount of C, and so that's why it would make sense that uh, the modified duration of uh, C is A, right? So we could set this up as C over one plus I equals A. Now, another thing here is that we could uh, rearrange it a little bit. I could do, uh, I could set it to C over A equals one plus I, right? Now, it says determine which of the following is an expression in years for the local duration of the other bond. Okay, well, um, respect to one of these two bonds. So we know that one of these two bonds, we dealt with A in relation to C. Now, the other bond that we have to deal with is B. Well, how would we find the Macaulay duration of B? Well, uh, B is already a modified duration, right? Um, we would also have to discount something, a factor, uh, we would have to find this amount, right? So we would be in such, essentially do B times one plus I, which equals X, right? But we're gonna have, but from what we solved from before, we found out that C over A equals one plus I. So we could get rid of this and replace it with C over A. Then we could find out that if we, Multiply B and C over A, we'll get X, which represents the Macaulay duration. So we get rid of C, D, uh, B times, so the answer would be A.